what is going on everyone and welcome back to too much tech in today's video we're going to be checking out hk gaming's new linear switches that they have that are available on amazon and these are actually very good quality especially for the price and just the availability of being able to get them very fast they do have three variants of this switch as well there is a very dark blue that they call lake blue then a medium blue called marlin blue and a very light blue called sky blue that i have here on my keyboard today and believe it or not it's very weird because this is the first maybe blue actually no telioses are kind of blue so i guess that counts but this is like maybe the second or third linear blue switch that has ever existed to my knowledge because typically when you think blue switches you think clicky i will have to say that for blue switches these are not bad they come lightly factory lube which is very very good you don't have to waste time and lube them yourself and these are also five pin switches as well so they will be incredibly stable in your board and they do have a somewhat premium feel and sound to them two millimeters of pre-travel and four millimeters of post travel for these switches and the difference between the three colors that are available is going to be the spring weight so if you go with the lake blue that spring weight is 72 grams so very very stiff you got to have some strong fingers especially if you want to use those for gaming so I can't really recommend those too much. Then we have that Marlin Blue, which is right in the middle with a 67 gram spring, which is not bad, very easy to use. But then we have the Sky Blue switches that have a 62 gram spring, which I think it will probably be the most popular just because it's a very lightweight spring and it's super easy to actuate in quick succession, especially if you're playing really fast paced games and you've got to press those keys more than once very, very quickly. Those are the ones that I would recommend for sure. If you know they're going to be playing a lot of games like Fortnite or something like that where you got to have a lot of repetitive keystrokes to play the game well the last thing i want to go over before we go into the sound test of these switches is the pricing so 40 dollars on amazon gets them shipped to you relatively quickly and you get 65 switches in the box and you bump up to 50 dollars and you get 90 switches and 60 dollars for 120 switches so if you think that you'll need 120 switches or maybe you just want to have a couple extra maybe give to your friends so they can try them out for themselves or something like that i do think that 60 dollars price is very fair especially for that amount of switches which is like that is incredibly cheap and very easy to get so these are actually very reasonably priced i would say if you're looking to get into custom keyboards but you want to avoid a ton of the work that you typically have to do to get into the hobby and you know i would definitely go ahead and give these a shot But we could not just stop at just some switches. Like, I mean, that would just be boring, okay? We got the sound test. What'd you guys think? I didn't do anything to them. They're just stock. We left them like that. And that's kind of the point. They're pre-lubed. But we can't just stop here. So number one for the keycaps, we got these keycaps from HK Gaming as well on Amazon. I believe they were like 45 or 50 bucks for this color combo. And honestly, they look very good and it goes even better with my new custom keys cable. This cable is their new magic rainbow cable that I think looks really good with the white, the blues, and the little hints of red that they have going on as well. Of course, these cables always come with that leather cable tie that is just really nice, especially we have a ton of cables. It's nice to have for organization. But as always, the coils look fantastic. The shrink wrap work is very good. The aviator is pretty decent as well. And it kind of makes me wish that the main keys on this HK keycap set were a little bit brighter white instead of this like tannish color the tan it looks okay but i think that everything would have just went together a lot better if they were maybe an off-white color instead of like this darker tan i like the keycap set and of course the cable goes even better with the keyboard and the accent keys but i do think that these darker tan colors don't really go together that well 
but it does work especially like in pictures on instagram i think that it works but let me know what you guys think of this keyboard bill and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and one thing i do want to say before i end this video is that technique he did review hk gaming's new 75 percent keyboard that you can build yourself with these switches and their keycaps if you want like the whole hk gaming set so maybe check out that video linked in the description below but that's all i got for you guys thanks for tuning in don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel as well let me know like what other keyboard switches are you guys interested in seeing me review on the channel i know we got a ton of builds coming up very soon and working with other companies thank you guys so much for tuning in i will catch you in the next video